हेलो एंड वेलकम थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग मी आई एम कर्नल योगेश कालरा दिस इज माय थर्ड वीडियो ऑन द बुक वांट टू वॉच द अदर वीडियोज ऑन दिस बुक क्लिक ऑन द प्ले लिस्ट एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट थ्री वेज टू मेक पीपल लाइक यू एंड द फर्स्ट वे टू मेक पीपल लाइक यू इज दिस बिकम जेनुनली इंटरेस्टेड इन दैम to learn what this means let's meet the sales representative edward edward was working with johnson and johnson company one morning he walked into a drug store which had been his long standing customer the owner told edward that due to dipping sales of johnson and johnson products he would no longer be able to purchase from him for a sales guy nothing is worse than losing a customer edward walked out of the store dejected In the evening Edward decided to go to the store again and plead with the owner to reconsider his position. He wasn't very hopeful though. So he was astonished when the owner welcomed him with a warm smile and gave him double the usual order. This is what he told him. Edward, after you left, the soda fountain boy sitting at the door walked up to me. He told me that you were one of the rare people who said hello to him whenever you walked into the store. He told me that if anyone deserved my business it was you. Let me now give you a story from my army days. Most army soldiers come from villages. They frequently have disputes back home which they cannot attend to. One common concern is land disputes with their neighbors. The other party has the upper hand as our soldiers are away from homes 10 months in a year. so the soldiers often approach us the officers and request us to write a letter to the local police authorities to intervene this is what i did whenever a soldier came to me with such a request i asked him to sit and explain to me the entire situation as i took notes i always ensured that one we dispatch the letter to the superintendent of police within 24 hours of conversation two I give a copy of the letter to the soldier and personally explain to him the contents of it. And three, I ask him to let me know the outcome so that we could take further action if required. I can tell you that the trust I was able to build with my teams by this minor investment of time was quite remarkable. I retired many years back, but I still receive calls from some of my soldiers. Although I have forgotten those incidents, they have not they are still grateful and their blessings continue to flow to me every day all because i showed just a little genuine concern for them so guys the first way to make people like you is this become genuinely interested in them and if you are genuinely interested in me please subscribe like and share it's a new channel friends need your help to make it work thank you coming to the second principle which is Remember people's names. Dale Carnegie says that a person's name is to him the sweetest and most important sound. To learn the impact it can have, let's meet John. John was working with General Motors. He had lunch in the canteen. He noticed that he had never ever seen the woman at the sandwich counter smile. Never. It was as if the constant scowl was part of her personality. One day when John went to the counter he looked at her name tag he smiled and said hello rachel and then placed the order john says that in the past rachel was very careful with the quantity of ingredients that she put in the sandwich but not today today she piled on the ham put three leaves of lettuce instead of one and filled the plate with the potato chips till they fell off the plate perhaps it was the very first time that someone had called her by her name perhaps it was also the first time that someone had acknowledged her as a person rather than as the sandwich lady have you noticed that when we are dealing with security guards the cleaners all the sales people at billing counters we never bother to look at their names for us name of all persons in security uniform is mr guard and the name of all people working in the restroom is mr cleaner but remember behind their work uniform there is a real person like you and me next time you meet them call them by their name and you would have made their day so the second way to make people like you is call people by their names coming now to the third principle which is smile 
when someone wishes them good morning there are people who respond with a warm good morning and a smile and then there are people who don't even bother to nod their head be the first type smile is free guys be liberal with it remember that the expression you wear on the, your face is far more important than the clothes you wear on your back so boys and girls if you want people to like you please do these three things number 1 become genuinely interested in other people number 2 call people by their names and number 3 smile until next time take care and be well